Guys, I'm 31. I cannot be wearing my hair like this. Who am I? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a look and um, I posted a photo of this like sparrow double liner look on my Instagram. This is the photo that I posted and y'all kind of went wild over it um, and you wanted me to do a video on how I did it. Honestly, I was just playing with makeup that day and I just wanted to try it out and it ended up turning out really well and y'all seem to really enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you how I do my double liner look. So basically we've got some liner up top on our upper lash line and then we also have a lower liner coming out of our lower lash line. So it almost creates this like sparrow wings kind of effect. And then I'm also going to show you one of my favorite kind of spring lips. This is also another uh, lip that I posted on Instagram and y'all kind of went crazy over it too. So we're just doing a bunch of stuff today that I've posted on Instagram. Y'all seem to really like it. So I just kind of threw it all in a video. I just shopped my stash for this video. So if you have the time, grab your makeup, uh, put it out on your table and we can sit and do makeup together. If you don't have time or if you just don't feel like putting makeup on right now, grab something to drink, grab a snack, get cozy, wrap yourself in a blanket, put those comfy sweats on and um, chill, sit back, relax. And um, I hope that this is just a nice break from your day. So without further ado, I've got my coffee and let's go ahead and get into it. Let's dive right in. I am so excited to be putting on some makeup today and we're just gonna play, have fun. I just kind of shot my stash for these products. So if you have the time, grab your makeup, grab your coffee, and we can do a little makeup together today. All right, I'm gonna prep my skin with the Vapor Essential Daily Primer. This is more just like a moisturizer. It's been a few hours since I've done my skincare routine, so I figure kind of re-moisturizing my skin is probably a good idea. All right, and then for foundation today, I'm just gonna use my Danessa Myricks. Vision Cream Cover. I'm just in a full coverage mood today. I wear the shade N04 and I'm just going to do about a pump on the cap and then just kind of work off of the cap because it is so full coverage. I don't want to apply too much. Blend it out with a sponge. Same old, same old. I feel like a broken record whenever I <laughs> do this part of my makeup. But, I don't know, there's something oddly satisfying about watching people do foundation. Do y'all feel that same way? I feel like when I watch YouTube videos, I love when they do their foundation and their concealer and just, honestly, just their whole complexion. I feel like that is the most satisfying part of the whole video. I don't know, maybe I'm just a weirdo. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left over on the cap on a smaller brush. And I'm going to use this as concealer as well. But yesterday, um... I had a little bit of free time, Chris had the kids, and um, I just wanted to sit on the couch and watch YouTube. I never get to do that. Whenever I'm watching YouTube, it's usually on my phone, um, and I'm just kind of watching it while I'm doing the dishes or something like that. I never get to sit and just do what I tell y'all to do, which is sit down, grab a cozy blanket, get, a, get something to drink, and just chill and watch YouTube. So um, I don't watch a ton of people on YouTube. I have my core people that I watch. Um, so I just didn't really have anybody to watch. So I started watching old Candy Johnson videos, which she is the reason why I started making YouTube videos because I, I'm i still obsessed with her. I absolutely love her. I love her style. And I learned so much from her back in the days. Like I think she started her channel like 12 years ago or something. Um, and she was the first person I ever watched on YouTube. So I started watching her older videos and it was such an amazing like trip down memory lane to just kind of see these videos that I watched so long ago and haven't seen them since. And just to see how YouTube has changed so much. See her do her makeup, you know, 10, 12 years ago compared to how people are doing their makeup now. And she's an actual makeup artist. Um, and I learned, have learned so much from her. Um, I really wish she still posted on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it was so cool to just sit there and watch her videos. And I just love her style and her, just her personality. And yeah, it was so nice to just sit there and just watch like these older YouTube videos and I feel like I've kind of not been 
I don't know. I just feel like, like I said, like I watch my core group of people on here, but other than that, like I just don't really enjoy watching YouTube videos except the people that my core little group of people that I watch. Um, but I just feel like I just miss kind of those older YouTube days. And it was nice to go back and kind of appreciate what YouTube used to be compared to what it is now. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of cream bronzer. And for that, I'm going to use my Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. Alright, I'm just going to pat out any creasing. And then I'm going to set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I did a full face review of Hourglass uh, two videos ago, so if you're curious, definitely check that out. I'll link it up here and down below. But I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my sponge just to really lock everything in. Alright, and then I'm going, to go in, ugh, I'm going to go in with highlighter, and I pulled my Beauty Counter Powder Highlighter in the shade Topaz. This is still on their website, and it's actually on sale right now, so I will link that below. This is one of my favorite powder highlighters, um, but they are... Where's my brush? Well, I guess I'll use this. Um, they are discontinuing it, so it's. I think it's like half off right now. But I'm just going to take this across the high points. And then for bronzer, I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Diffused Bronze Light. And after I did my Hourglass video, um, I went through my comments and was kind of responding to everyone. And their bronzer seems to be a very big favorite of a lot of you. Um, this is such a pretty bronzer. And a lot of y'all were commenting saying that uh, you have their bronzer and you really love it. You've hit pan on it, so... Yeah, these are so nice. Just their powders in general are just so beautiful. So I'm just going to take that right on top of that cream bronzer. Alright, and then for blush, um, I thought I would play around with this. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Wonder. And in my Hourglass video, I said I didn't like applying this on top of powders. But in that video, I messed up and ended up having to apply it on top of powders. But the way I applied it with a sponge, it actually worked out really well. So I'm gonna do that again today. Again, this is the shade Wonder. It's a really pretty kind of peachy pink color. And I'm gonna apply it to my hand first, and then take my sponge and just pop that right on the apples. Make this really weird face. Yeah, I still think it works best under powder, but it's not bad on top of powder. It's just not my favorite. Alright, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera, and then I also took my Mario Master Eye Prep and Set in medium. I took just a mixture of these two cream shades, applied that all over my eye, and then set it down with the powder that comes with this kit. So I didn't want to bore y'all. With that so I just did that really quickly since basically the only thing we're doing is liner we're not going to do any eyeshadow for this look you're going to need a black liner you can do liquid liner you can do a felt tip liner um, you can do just a pencil liner I just prefer pencil liners they're easier for easier for me to work with and they're a lot softer which is just my style so um, whatever kind of liner you want to use but I'm going to give it a good sharpen. This is just the one by Mario. It's the blackest eyeliner that I own. It's really, really good. So for this look, it's basically a double liner. So you're doing a liner up top, and then you're also doing a liner from the bottom, and you're kind of making them parallel. Um, I don't really know how to describe this because, honestly, in that photo on Instagram, that was the first time I had done it. And I just kind of winged it, literally. So you can make these as thin or thick as you want. 
I'm going to try and be as close up as I can so you can see what I'm doing and maybe that'll help kind of explain it without me actually explaining it. So I like to start with the bottom. I think it's just easier and it kind of sets the angle in which I do my upper lash line. You kind of want to go more straight rather than go straight up. At least that's just what I did in my photo. So if you want to kind of mimic that. Um, so you almost have to kind of train yourself to not follow your lash line and to just go in a straight line. Um, so I'm, that's just kind of a rough outline. I'm going to go in and kind of perfect it a little bit more. And then um, just the good thing about a pencil is it's okay if it's not absolutely perfect. I kind of like the more lived in a slightly messy look so and then on my upper lash line I'm just following well trying to follow the same path as my lower lash line and I'm just going to take a q-tip just kind of clean this up. So I'm going to go over this with a black shadow. This one is from Mob. It's their cake liner. And don't worry if this doesn't look perfect because we are going to go in with concealer. But I'm going to set down that pencil with a black shadow. Just so it doesn't move around or transfer. All right, so now we can go in and perfect it and especially that gap in between the two lines we can make that a little bit more crisp and clean so I'm gonna take some concealer actually I'm gonna take no I'm gonna take some concealer um, I think this will be easier I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand I'm just using the hourglass vanish concealer I'm gonna take it on a small brush and just run that right in between those two lines and this will help clean up the lines that also help to create more of a separation and I'm also going to take concealer underneath this line just to help clean that up and then I'm just using my finger to pat it out and then I'm going to take a little bit more of this translucent powder. You can use your face powder even. And I'm just going to set that concealer down so it doesn't move the liner. You don't want anything creamy around this liner because then it'll smudge and move. I'm just pressing the powder in between. And this is a translucent powder so it's not going to cover up that black. All right, and there you have it. There's your like sparrow winged liner. Um, it just kind of takes a little bit of practice. This is definitely something that I need to practice more. Um, if you wanted to keep it like really, really easy and not worry about all these different steps, you could just take a little bit of liquid liner or even your pencil liner and just do a really thin line. You don't have to do an actual like kind of thicker wing. You can just do one line, one line and add some mascara. Um, but I wanted mine to be a little bit thicker, a little bit more dramatic. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then we'll be right back. All right, my good friends, we are back. I've done mascara, which honestly I feel like just kind of pulls everything together and just makes it complete. So, um, oh, one more thing I want to do in the eyes. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, I want to add a nude liner in my waterline. Um, just again to kind of create that separation with the black So this one is by Mario as well any nude liner will work All right, and then I wanted to do a lip that I also did on Instagram and a lot of y'all really liked this lip as well and um, I haven't shown y'all how I do it. So uh, this is the hourglass girl lip stylo in the shade icon i talked about this in my hourglass video i ended up using the nude shade but i wanted to show you how i've been wearing this for the springtime 
and it's a really pretty kind of stained berry lip. It'd be great for a look like this because you don't have a lot of color going on so you can really have fun with the lip. So I'm first going to go in with some lip liner if I can find my lip liner. Alright, so I like pairing this lip, uh, this lipstick with a brownie nude lip liner. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's how I wore it in the photo. And I just loved the combination. So this is Youngblood's Eau Natural. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then just kind of smudge it in with my finger. I think in that photo I actually used Max Strip Down. Um, but I'm going to use this one today. Go in with this fun berry lip. I love the formula of these two. They're very, very moisturizing. And because we're just kind of blotting it on the lips and doing more of like a stain, it actually dries down um, to be pretty matte. So it's not going to move around too much. But I'm just going to kind of tout this on my lips. Take my finger. And just work that into my lips. And it just kind of ends up looking like a really pretty more natural berry stain because when you use a more nude kind of more natural lip liner it almost just makes like makes it look like that's your lip and then you just have like a little hint of berry in the center so that's why I like pairing it with more of a nude liner rather than a liner that matches this now if you want this to be like full drama like the whole thing then definitely I would recommend using a, a liner that matches this one Alright guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this inspired you to play with some winged liner. Um, I definitely need to do it more often. It's a little intimidating for me, but um, I definitely need to practice more. But this is one of my favorite kind of winged liner looks. I actually really like this. It's kind of rocker, kind of edgy. Like this is definitely kind of my style of winged liner, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's always a blessing to sit here and do makeup with y'all and chat with y'all and just hang out like we're girlfriends. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Broken roses, I can't focus. I can't focus. Something precious like you